All right, so we have some pretty big news. Uh, it seems like a producer's letter came out for the global version of October and five minutes long. There, it's pretty crazy, right? Uh, there's a lot that they actually do end up talking about that is very, very exciting. And we're obviously gonna dive right into it. But man, um, I'm gonna say pity. They're, they're adding like a form of pity. Now, it's only to a certain banner type, but fingers crossed, maybe it's added to other banner types in the future, but Dokkan's getting some form of pity, which is just, obviously, it's just absolutely insane getting pity like that. Um, also, There's also the JP post, right? We'll, we'll take a look at that too, but uh, yeah, man, this is really, really good. So let's go ahead and let's listen, let's listen to a Amatsu talk. Amatsu's just going to be, you know, talking, and let's just pop right into it so here we are let's listen to amatsu hello amatsu all right obviously of course amatsu is taking over just just in case you guys aren't aware amatsu is taking over giving news for global at this point we're not going to see kodo in these news anymore and i know a lot of people are sad uh about kodo not being there but there are some pretty good changes here i'm telling y'all so uh, there it is as of today, yeah, the worldwide celebration campaign has finally ended. Let me know what you guys think about the campaign in the comments below. Um, I think it was a pretty good campaign overall. Let me go ahead and turn this up for him just a little bit so you guys can hear it. Uh, talking about Vegito, the new domain feature, and the fact a lot of content to give you the best gaming experience ever. Hmm. I think a lot of people were disappointed here. There is a player survey, so there will be a player survey. Uh, that's the place for you guys to go ahead and leave your feedback. It'll be shared at a later date, it says. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Now, this is the big thing right here. Um, unification of the JP and international version operation schedules, period, to be determined. Let's take a look here. So now let's get down, get down to business and discuss future events planned for Dokkan Battle. From the Carnival Future campaign introduced in last year's worldwide campaign, um, to the recently announced unification with the JP versions operation schedule, which is the version sync. So all like, let's take a look here. Events and features aimed at allowing players from all over the world to enjoy playing Dokkan Battle. And then he says it right here. This is a huge news. Happening, popping up more and more frequently. More events like this are already in the works for the ninth anniversary and even the 10th anniversary so what that is telling me like okay read read it events and features aimed at allowing players from all over the world to enjoy playing dokkan battle um have been popping up more and more frequently and then he says these are already in the works for the ninth anniversary and even the 10th anniversary i mean that's quite literally just saying Oh yeah, uh, the anniversaries this year are going to be synced. Ninth anniversary, 10th anniversary will be synced, which is just really, really good, I think. The, uh, I mean, if the ninth anniversary for Dokkan was not synced, then that would not really make a lot of sense to me if they want to unify the schedules. Because then what's going to happen with Tanabata and Global, and then, you know, with Worldwide being so close, it'd just be really weird. They would have to sync a ninth anniversary. Even though the game isn't going to be fully caught up by the ninth anniversary, I do think that the ninth anniversary will be at the same time on both Global and JP. And he, he's confirming it right here. More events like this are in the works for ninth and the 10th anniversary. So anniversaries from now on are going to be synced. Same time celebrations, which is really helpful because a lot of people um like get the, get the anniversary and it's like, dang, you know, um not really too hype right there right i just like why would i even summon for the anniversary and it's i just maybe six months pass by you're just not really as hype anymore for that and it's just obviously very very disappointing in that situation um which is very very sad so we'll go ahead and see how that actually works out again it's not i guess it's not really like a full confirmation some people are saying um I don't know. Some people are like kind of doubting it, but I'm pretty sure. And they also say one extra thing right here, right? If we take a look here, um, a special surprise is in store for everyone. So uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's be real. 
It says right here as well, although the international version has just reached its 8th anniversary, I think there's no better time than now to explain what the future holds for the next anniversaries. Um, obviously because of this sync, uh, which makes a lot of sense since it's going to be seemingly same time, which is why we prepared the roadmap for this video. I mean, yeah, I, I would expect that. It sounds like Nath anniversary is going to be synced. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. And uh, then he's talking about the 10th anniversary. Well, I'd love to tell you more about the tweaks and fees we're going to implement for the 10th anniversary. Can't do that. So bear with me away for future events. It seems like 10th anniversary is going to be really huge for the game. So let's hope 10th anniversary is just really, really good. I still do think 9th, 9th anniversary is going to be good as well. There's one thing I can tell you about today. A little update scheduled to be implemented during this month. Um, here it is. So this is what I'm talking about with pity. It's applied to specifically legendary summon characters. Um, legendary summon carnival characters will not be affected. So long on to the list of changes. And this is where the changes are. Perform summons to get legendary summon coins limited and then exchange a certain number of coins for the new character. Then on top of that, seven rounds only, you're guaranteed to recruit a featured character every three multi summons. So you're getting guaranteed featured for how many uh, you have to do what, like 21 multis and then you get a guaranteed feature character and legendary summon characters are only seven characters, right? They do mention that it is going to be applied to the upcoming yellow coin banner coming on global, which we'll see in a bit. But that is the um, actually I, sh I should bring it up in a, the banner itself. But that is the uh, base form Goku banner, which we see right here. Let's say you summon for the base form Goku banner. Maybe maybe you're a fan of the true my Goku for, you know, someone someone could out there could be wanting someone for him. Where is he at? Uh, six right here. Where Where is this boy? Hello. Is it seventh page? Yeah, this. So we see this is. um seven featured right so you're going to get a featured unit every third multi it seems like or every three multi summon so i assume it's the third multi summon i guess or is it like the it's like yeah it's the third multi summon so you need to do 21 multis and then you can get seven guaranteed feature characters which is interesting and then i assume the coin exchange will be 500 so how many multis you have to do for 500 coins specifically that's, um, I think it's 2,500 stones, I think, something like that, right? 2,500 stones, I believe, is the amount you need to do. Yeah. So, I guess, I assume it's going to be the same, right? Where you do 2,500 stones and you are able to get the new uh, character. With these new legendary summon coins limited. We'll see how it looks like once it's in-game, but that's very interesting. And again, you could also just get the character from the guaranteed featured. It just makes it really good. The most significant change is the fact that when performing summons and regular legendary summons, players are guaranteed to recruit a featured character after performing a certain number of summons. And I would say that is the biggest change, but pity is so just helpful here. Guarantee system to legendary summons, which is really, really good. Now, <laughs> you heard it right. The decision was taken after having read all the feedback received via social media and the in-game surveys, which again, they do listen to us on our messages, just letting y'all know. Up until now, what a legendary summon strong points was a possibility to recruit LR characters. Uh, but now obviously with DFE, uh, in the long run, it was made less appealing because we had the Dokkan Festival LRs and Carnival LR characters, right? Um, which again makes a lot of sense there. So now they're giving yellow coin banners a purpose, but it also makes like carnival banners just like like worse. Also, it's like okay, carnival banners at this point they what, what was taken away from them? Like the Dokkan carnival format was taken away, and it's like okay, well now it's just like I don't know. I guess the characters are used kind of better usually. I don't know. It just the carnival format just looks way worse now. But this is still such a good thing that I don't even care, right? Um, I I guess I doubt that they'll add this for the future. They really should add this to these two banners. I think, I think uh, hopefully, fingers crossed in the future that's added to the Dokkan Festival and the Legendary yeah. Summon. That would be really good. But the reason why they probably picked this is because these banners weren't really performing well. And, you know, we didn't really like the banners, right? This trend, um, hold up. Let me see, what does it say? 
If it wasn't enough, this trend continued when we changed the legendary summons uh, and video with large scale campaigns to carnival banners. That's what they're saying, right? It is the concept of carnival featured characters last year. Um, and then and then regular legendary summons, that's what they implemented this. So, okay. And there you go. I think that's all you have to say about that. Make it more special by having it easy to get it. Please look forward to the revamped legendary summons. Events and missions. So this is just the uh, global thing right here. Uh, Global's getting the Strive for the Best character growth campaign missions, which is pretty good. Uh, these are just missions you're able to get just, you know, by awakening the characters. You get just free stones, stuff like that. Um, this is uh, the this is just going to be an upgraded version of this event for a little bit where launch is guaranteed. Um, these are here. Limited version. Launch will always guaranteed, which always gets you like an Elder Kai and stuff like that. So make sure you do do that for sure. Uh, three other Kai's actually. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and then that's it. It says, yeah, that is pretty much it there uh, for the global version. Again, this is a huge update. Now JP does have a little bit additional info for JP specifically when it comes to um this trunk. So we have the free to play trunks that's going to Dokkan awaken into trunks and Broly, which is really interesting. Super Saiyan trunks and Super Saiyan Broly. And I assume he's going to awaken into an LR maybe later. We'll see. But that's cool. Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Broly getting a card like this, I think, is pretty cool. So, yeah, that is pretty much it there. And I think that's... I don't, I don't know what this says. Does that say anything specifically? I assume not. Um, oh, there's a future fan meeting. That's what it is. There's just a fan meeting in the future, I guess. Sure. But, um... Yeah, so let me know what you guys are thinking about that. Maybe maybe I'm misreading the, like, sync version for the anniversaries. So I guess I won't put it in the title, but I'm pretty sure that's what this means. So, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I, 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 it sounds like it to me based on reading it, but it's like 3 a.m. What we know for sure is Peter's coming, so... Let me know what you guys think or thinking, and I guess I'll just catch you in the next video. Peace out.